Watch for the battery to show up and be red. Okay. And blinky. Dramatic. Drama. Drama. Drama though. Can you shut the door please? Nah. Nah. Rude. Rude. All right, so I'm gonna be asking her some questions about me and our friendship, and I'm gonna see how well she knows me. Okay, so. First off, I think you should put on my lipstick. All right. Mm -mm. Oh, girl, turn your head. Oh. All right, Reb. Mm -hmm. Let me fix your Cupid's bow, though. How is that what? Cupid's bow. That's what that little M McDonald's mm -hmm. sign is on top of your head. I mean, your lips. Of course, I would call it a McDonald's sign. Anyways, I got some questions. And we're going to see how well you answer them. But our battery's going to die, so I'm not sure how this is going to work. So we're going to do as much as we can. Hopefully, we'll get as much as we can done before the battery dies and we can switch or whatever. Failure to plan. We're moving on. Do you want to open a present now? <gasps> yeah! I bought her a present. Present. Yes. Yay. Yay. Oh, it's pink, y'all. It's pink. It says sweets and treats because I'm so sweet. You tell Jacob what I got you for Christmas party. By the way, it's November and we're we are already exchanging Christmas gifts. Oh my gosh, if this is what I think it is, I might cry. <laughs> if this is what I think it is, I might cry. What do you think it is? Um, Juicy Couture sweatshirt. I'll let you open it. Okay. Because it's smushy, like clothing. So, how devastating is that, that our camera battery died right as I opened this present? We're gonna so, reenact it. We're gonna reenact Cause it. Cause she didn't see the whole entire thing. Right. I screamed a little bit though. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, I got some pants! I oh, got camera. matching pants for you! <laughs> okay, so if you guys don't know, one of the running jokes that I have with my circle of friends is that my goal in life is to be a trophy wife, okay? so. Freaking juicy couture. Okay, track the back suit. though. The back it's is what makes so it like lovely. Like bougie. It's ridiculous. Okay, and the pants though. They are pink velour juicy couture pants. And some some might call me like, you know, over the top, but have seriously have we no need to be anything but thank you so much. This is one of my favorite gifts ever. I love I tried this. it on and I liked it. So I might <laughs> borrow it <laughs> one day if I ever take it off <laughs> okay so people were hating on Juicy Couture when we got them in at work and I was like y'all don't even know though like it's like heaven for your butt like it's just oh my gosh she's I'm not so lying excited. she said it Merry thank Christmas. you so much Merry Christmas to me it's November but we don't care whatever <laughs> Whatever. Okay, so I have a few questions for you, and we'll see how well she answers them. So let's get started. Okay, so first one is your favorite memory of, of you, us. of us, yeah, yeah, of us. Favorite memory would be when we went to Tennessee. Yes, because that was a lot of fun. Yes, I. If, you, if you're new to the channel, that's my hometown of Nashville, Tennessee, and I took her with me to visit. And it was a lot of fun. And we had so much southern fried food. Oh it my was god. Heaven. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Okay. So she's my little slice of the south up here in central PA where there's no no accents worth mentioning. Anyways. Um, okay. So what's it like being best friends with someone obsessed with YouTube? Um, actually, it's pretty great because she learns new things and then she tries them on me. Yep. All day. That's how I knew how to do this. The eyes, though. <laughs> Check them eyes out, though. Okay, so, um, any inside jokes? Um, ride or die. Yes. That's exactly the one I was thinking <laughs> of, too. Um, like when she embarrasses me at work. <laughs> uh, ride or die, Lindsay. Ride or die. <laughs> but I got her back because I made her try some food she didn't like, and I'm like, I don't care. Ride or die. Pretty much. That's how we get each other to Even do though it. that doesn't really make sense, but I just said it anyways, just as an Whatever. excuse. Heels or flats? Um, you love heels? Yes. A lot. She has flats, but she loves her heels. Yeah. Pretty much. I would say I wear heels like maybe four, four days a week. Dresses or pants? Dresses. Always. What is my favorite animal? Well, it's a tie. 
okay. between an elephant or a lion. Yes! Oh my gosh, yes! Okay, so I have this weird, like, obsession with both animals, but I think, especially of late, like, I've been kind of obsessed with, like, the whole idea of, like, a lioness. So, there's, there's meaning and junk behind that. But anyways, my house is on fire, and all the, like, pets and friends and family and everybody's okay, but what do I take with me? What's the one thing I can save? Makeup. <laughs> Probably. I mean, I would say me, but you just said I'm already out of house. Right. So it can't be me. Probably makeup. What's my favorite movie? Frozen. Pretty much. <laughs> um, I am kind of obsessed with like Disney movies. That is Like true. Disney princess movies. So, I don't know. I don't get like into adult movies because they're like too like crazy and stuff. And I get really bad nightmares from like horror movies and stuff. So. She's texted me a few times saying, let's have a Disney princess night. And it hasn't it happened hasn't yet. It hasn't happened yet. It'll happen. But. The question gets asked often. Yeah. Because <laughs> I get in the mood after. My husband surprised me with um, Sleeping Beauty. And I watched that movie. And that was the, uh, the, the most recent time that I was, like, obsessed with Disney. What's one thing I drink every day? I don't know. I don't really have anything. The I only mean, thing you I drink a lot of water, but you also... Of water. I don't drink coffee. And I no. don't drink tea that much. No. I think probably if... And I don't even have that every day. I love Ovaltine, You don't Ovaltine, really have soda, though. though, either. I don't drink soda. I, yeah. It makes me kind of, like, ugh, gross. The only soda I love is um, Baja Blast Mountain Dew from Taco Bell. That's every once in a while. Yeah, every once in a while. Only when I go to Taco Bell. But that's neither here nor there. I'd say water, probably. I think you're right. Do we own anything matching? Um, one. Two. Two. And a shirt. Two shirts. No, two shirts. Uh -huh. Three shirts. What's the thing? Two and a half. Because the one shirt's matching, and then the other one's the same thing, just different girls. Right. So, I mean, the, the polka dot, no. I don't have that one. We have the, the same, black one? We have the mud one, but we have it in different colors, and we purchased them separately. The mud, like, v-neck. Oh, we, we also have, have that. that Target one, but they're different colors, too, with a little pocket. Yeah. I think those don't count, though, because they're basic, okay, and so we then, pretty much have what every white girl on the planet has. That's true. I don't want to be matching them. Mm -mm. We're matched. No, we have two, two, I'd say, specific shirts that go together. And then, of course, matching tattoos. And I'm about to get matching bangs a because necklace. I need them. Oh, yeah, and a necklace. Which she, she got for us. Yeah. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Favorite TV show? Mm, you like Once Upon a Time. Yes. Um, and you also like, what's that show? Uh, How I Met Your Mother. Uh-uh. You don't? Mm -mm. New Girl is my jam. And The Walking Dead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The Walking Dead is my favorite show of all time, ever. And I know that earlier I said I don't like scary things, but, like, The Walking Dead isn't scary to me. It's, like, all the no. zombies and stuff are, like, an afterthought. Like, it's not, it's not scary. Like, I don't like stuff that makes me feel like I'm out of control. And with the zombies, like, occasionally there's a little suspense, but it's not, like, it's not, like, ridiculous. Like, I... <laughs> Don't do that. That scared me. I don't like that. <laughs> first impression. Okay, so when I first met her, Cody walked into my door and said, Hey, here's my pregnant friend, Kaylin. And so, of course, my first thought was, This girl's pregnant. What do pregnant people like to talk about? How do you entertain a pregnant person? Are we allowed to have pregnant people in my house? Um, but I immediately liked her because she was sassy and southern and she liked Kool-Aid. I love Kool-Aid. And she wore a white t-shirt when the first day she came over and had Kool-Aid and got Kool-Aid on her shirt. I forgot about that. But I was round at the time, so I had it like on my belly, which is funny. I think I was only like five or six months when I met you. So I, I, I didn't really pop out until like seven seven months, I'd say. But my first impression of you, I don't know. I think I was a little bit scared. Like, not of you, but like, I was I was being introduced as Cody's pregnant friend, even though we were already dating, and um, I was like in a room like full of people, and Lindsay was the only person who was like nice to me. Like you were. Like you were the only person that was nice to me. It's because I liked you. Yeah. And, and for those of you who don't know, like I attract haters like moths to a flame, especially, I just, I don't know if it's me being insecure, but I feel like it's really hard for me to make friends with girls. Like really hard. Nope. I just liked her. I was like, mm-hmm. 
Mm -hmm. And we have a picture together from that night, I think, where I'm like laying on the yeah. couch like this. And I don't like know if that's the very first day. It was. It's like the first day. month. Was no, it, it was the very first day. <laughs> How did I not scare you or freak you out? They're like, this because girl I don't know want to take a picture with me. No, because I think I think I'm a pretty <laughs> tough kind of girl, and it would take a lot to like really like freak me out. I don't know. I was right, cool. you were accepting of me, so I was accepting of you. <laughs> I was like, okay, she's into it, whatever. <laughs> Maybe she's like trying to get me like, I don't know, like on one of those like catfish shows or something like that. Like maybe she's trying to steal my identity. That's exactly what I was doing. <laughs> Somewhere there's like a girl named Yolanda with my face. <laughs> I'm pregnant. I'm pregnant from the south. <laughs> I got Kool-Aid on my shirt. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> Always. Okay, uh, that's why I wear black all the time now, so you can't see my Kool-Aid stains. Yeah! I thought you said that's why we're black. And I'm like, nope. What is she saying? <laughs> no. Nope. That's why I wear black. I wear black. <laughs> Makes more sense. <laughs> what are some things we have in common? We have um, southern food in common. We have that we were raised in the south in common. We have that we have a uh, respect for authorities. Kind of. <laughs> yes. Like our daddies. Like our daddies. We daddies respect the ultimate authority. Our daddy. Yeah. Daddy's girls right here. <laughs> no. Um and we love the Lord. Yeah. And um, we like the same kind of music. Like we yes. we are the ones that if we go out together, we are always dancing together and drawing a crowd, but we don't let anybody in. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's like, I don't need you, please go away, <laughs> bye. We're like, just dancing together, like even our husbands are like, they're I together. We'll, I guess we'll just stand here. I guess we'll just drink beers and stand here. <laughs> Basically, we're kind of in our own little zone when we go out together. We don't really, we don't really like other people being in our vicinity. We kick somebody out real quick. What else do we have in common? We love the same type of music. Like, we both like ghetto music, uh, reggaeton, uh, country. Um, we, we like a lot of different types of music, and I think that's one thing that I share with her that I don't share with anybody else, because not too many people in this area are, like, willing to let me drive around my big black SUV with, like, bass bumping. Pretty much like that. <laughs> Uh, I do what else do we have in common? We have a very similar sense of humor, I think. We like to look nice. Yes, we get dressed when we leave the house. We dress to impress. And but like not we to don't get attention. We don't get just crazy. because it's a proper thing for a southern lady to do is yeah. to look presentable it's and clean cut and like we took a shower. Right. And I think um, that's one thing that makes us really stick out and I'm not trying to hate on like anybody in this area or anybody in particular but one thing that makes us like I think sometimes even for me it makes me feel a little bit like insecure is that um, so many women like look at me and Lindsay and not just us but I think any woman who like puts himself together and like wears makeup and does their hair and like puts on matching clothes or whatever um, they kind of look at us and like just immediately hate on us for whatever reason like I I think that we bring out insecurity in other people I, I'm not saying that like we're like the you know hot snot or anything but like there is a, a very distinct difference between the way that we're treated by people that uh, like are in our lives professionally because we go the extra step and like get dressed and like have our nails looking presentable and our hair and whatever. So I think that's important to both of us. It's very rare that we like bum it and like don't try. <laughs> so yeah, I think that's it. And our values are very much aligned with each other. I think Lindsay's one of the few people that I have never had a fight with. And we've never fought. We've never fought. And you know, a lot of people are like, oh, you need to like have fights to be healthy. But like, we just don't disagree on things. Like she, like I get real sassy, but she doesn't mind. Um, I'm like, yeah, give it to me. <laughs> pretty much. Sassy girl. Sassy. Um, but I think she's one of the few people in my life that like, I don't have to, um, I don't have to like watch what I say around her because I know that I know that no matter what, like, she she won't judge me. She has my back. And we can talk about anything. And I think 
that has been so unique uh, over any other friendship that I think I've ever had is I don't really have to, I don't have to think about anything. Like I don't have to like worry about what you're going to think or anything like that. And I think that's just like super refreshing. Like I, I don't have to like wonder like, oh, is she going to go like tell somebody? Like I don't wonder because it's never been a, never been an issue ever. We've never, we've never had a fight. That's, I think I, this is the first time I've ever realized that. We've never had a fight. Mm -mm. Anyways, I don't like that drama. We, I think we're both kind of like that though. I mean, I am high drama, like I'm high maintenance for sure. But she's so laid back that it really like. But there's a difference between being high maintenance and starting drama. No, like, yeah, I'm high maintenance, which isn't saying that in a bad way. No, but um, it's the truth. <laughs> but you don't go around being like blah 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 blah. Guess what? I heard Lindsay Tay. Right. It's just never been never been an issue with us. So ladies, it is possible to have really close girl friendships. Like, please stop being a hater, because we're really cool and we would like to have you and our friends. But nobody's allowed to talk to her but me. <laughs> That's funny. It's for <laughs> little story. Um, when I got her her job at my work, um, I told everybody that nobody was allowed to talk to her but me. So and I told her that no, she couldn't talk to anybody but me Pretty. because no one can be her best friend but me. You can be her friend, like you know, acquaintance, acquaintance, but you can't be her best friend except me. And it's funny because she'll catch me talking to somebody else and just stare like this. <laughs> Hey, what are you doing? Ooh, I like this question a lot. Okay, if you could steal one item from the other person's closet, what would it be? Well, if I was your shoe size, I would be stealing your shoes. Yeah. Every day, all day. Yeah, <laughs> pretty much. Um, you have a couple of really cute things. Um, that Vera Wang top. I like that. The Flora one. I like that piece a lot. But she wears, like, I don't know how you do it. You have, like, a different outfit on every single time I see you. Like, I have the same, like, standard, like, I maybe 7 to 10 items that I that I really like. Because when I like something, I wear the crap out of it until it falls apart. And I recycle her, my stuff. Yes. Like, I'll wear it, and then I'll stop, and then I'll stop, and I'll find something else. And then by the time, like, I've got five new things, that really old thing people have forgotten about, and then I'll wear it again. Yeah, and no so even know. I don't, she's one of those people that, like, never, ever has, like, a bad outfit day. And I don't know how you do that, like, in sorcery. Also, I steal clothes from my mom, so it looks like I went shopping, but I really didn't. And you steal clothes from my closet, too, though. Yeah. Yeah, and I have yet to do that from you, simply because I haven't, I just never made it a lot there. of my stuff is yours. <laughs> You want to steal your stuff back, you can. <laughs> I like this question because it's sassy. Um, what are my pet peeves? Gringy, dirty, nastiness. Crusty. Don't um, be crusty. Don't be in my face if you're trying to be crusty. You like honesty, so when mm -hmm. someone's like a liar, liar, pants on fire, that annoys you. Yeah. What are your pet peeves? Let's see. Don't be mean. Like, don't don't be like like making fun of somebody or whatever. Lindsay will not like you. She will shoot daggers out of her face. Sometimes I don't do. even mean to shoot daggers out of her face. Yeah, like, she has RBF. Face. If you don't know what that is, look it up because I'm not going to say that word. Probably, I don't know. I feel like this is one. Like, people being, like, not true to their word. Like, people who, like, say they're going to do something and then, like, don't come through. Most definitely. That's like really irritating. I think for everybody, but especially Lindsay. All right, let's be honest. Oh, We're God. completely different. So why are we best friends? I think because we balance each other out. Like I said before, like I'm super like over the top, sassy, have an opinion about everything. Wear Barney purple lipstick on the regular. And I think we are best friends because we have such like, uh, we click in a way that like people don't, normally click with me and it's it's very rare um for me to find somebody like that and i think that's why we've been friends for so long because she's one of those people that if you're like she she's down for anything okay <laughs> so like if i call her and i'm like hey do you want to go to harrisburg harrisburg she's like okay, okay. <laughs> do you want to go to philadelphia which has happened before yeah do you want to go to philadelphia okay like, she's so, she's so down for anything, and I love that because I find that I, I can be very, like, impulsive, and 
a lot of times I want someone else to be there too. And so we have a lot of really fun experiences because we, we get to be spontaneous like that. And we work together, which is really cool because she's like the one person like at work that uh, like no matter what kind of day I'm having, like I'm always delighted to see her. I don't know, it's just, I can be easy, like, I can relax, I don't have to think about stuff, I don't feel stressed out, I don't feel like if I say something, like, it's gonna, like, offend her. I feel like she gets my sense of humor, and I guess the portrait I'm trying to paint for you guys is, like, I am, like, a real high-maintenance <laughs> piece of work, and Lindsay is so laid back and chill, and she just lets me do it, and if I cross a line, she tells me, like, I like that about her because, you know, that's a real friend, like someone who's going to be like, mm, no, that's not a good idea. She'd be that for me. And um, we like to spoil each other. Spoil? Yeah. Yeah. We like to spoil she each other a lot. She kind of spoils me a little bit more. That's, but, but that's, I mean, that's it's okay. not like. I think that it's kind of like, um, I'm like the, the psycho jealous boyfriend. <laughs> no! And so I just buy you presents when I'm like in the honeymoon phase. That's She's a thing, just right? like we've been in the honeymoon phase forever. <laughs> yeah. Well, I think I think it's just one of those things where it's like I when I love somebody, I love them hard, and I like to spoil the people around me for putting up with the amount of craziness that I put out. I might be making it sound a little bit worse, but I'm really hard on myself, like especially in relationships. I'm really hard on myself, and I just I absolutely. Um, love Lindsay for her character and just the way that I just I can relax when I'm around here and she she doesn't like kids okay so if you know if you know Lindsay at all she she is not a kid person um, she and her husband don't want to have children um, which is fine but she she really loves my my kid which makes it easy because she understands that I'm a mom first before I can ever be a friend like I'm a mom first so if she wants to hang out with me like Levi's gonna be there and you'd be surprised like how many people are like not down to hang out with little kids like I think little kids are hilarious and she likes to laugh at him when he falls down and stuff uh, and she doesn't get mad when I, I laugh at him mad. when he falls down on cement <laughs> four <laughs> I'm just Blah! Like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah it's it's we we just don't we don't like cross each other even if we're being really annoying also when i'm like mad and pissed off and upset and i need someone to be mad and pissed off and upset with me she's the person to Ride be mad down. even if she has no idea what's going on don't and care. i'm just like i'm mad you're mad too she does the same thing for me i feel like i get a little bit more attitude than she does it takes a lot to make her mad but when she does like i don't care who it is we hate the same people <laughs> by default we don't hate anybody but um if like, anyone's seen that new buzzfeed article on how spongebob and patrick, <laughs> patrick might be us might be us that's Pretty so much. funny i read that and i was just laughing and then i saw jacob my husband put that on somebody else's facebook and i'm like you can't do that that's kaylin no. and i no and what's funny is i love the one where he's like what do you do when i'm gone wait for you to get back <laughs> Pretty much though, pretty much. Cause that's, I, I call her as soon as she gets off work, I'm like, what are you doing today? When she went on vacation with her husband a few weeks ago, I was like, I wanna text her, but no, cause she's with her husband. And I'm like, I can't wait till she get home so I can text her and be like, I miss you so much. And his, today we had to hug hug through a Z-rail because we hadn't seen each other in like four days. So. No, it was Friday. So six days. Six days. I counted. <laughs> We hugged, we hugged through a Z rail. Like there was a bar, and we we hugged through it, like around it. I think that's it. Yeah. I think that's all the questions. Do you have any anything else you'd like to tell the world? No. I cannot wait to wear this outfit, you guys. I'm so excited. Oh yeah. I'm so excited. Do you know I I bought this today at work and I picked it out and she was helping a customer and I kept peeking over to make sure she wasn't looking <laughs> you at were? me. What is that lady that kept me for two hours? Yeah. Okay. I'm just like, she needs to pay attention to her and not watch me walk by. And I made Dawn triple bag it so you can <laughs> see what was in the bag. I'm That's like, she awesome. needs, if you see her walk by, you just throw it on the ground and pretend like we're doing something else. 
I wanted it to be a super duper surprise. It was. I was really shocked. I was I was thinking like maybe it would be like one of the ones with like writing on it or something, but this is so much better. This is my favorite thing ever. I'm so excited. I'm glad you like it. Thank you so much for watching, you guys. I'm sorry this video is probably super duper long, but I'm really not that sorry. My YouTube is Lindsay Yankee 89 Yeah. And we'll put the link like a dangly do. She likes she likes Instagram. Oh and my word. We <laughs> Yankee Lindsay, I think. We are kind of obsessed with Instagram. Yeah. It's I think it's our favorite. Nope, it's Lindsay Yankee. Okay. Okay. Um with an A. We'll have to Lindsay with an A. I'll link it down below so that you guys can follow her. But, yeah. Um, I got Instagram. the picture monger. You will get so much excitement from her photos. Also, if you ever become friends with me, you will have pictures on Facebook because of me. I have a lot of friends who have pictures on Facebook only because it's because of me. She's the resident photographer. I am. And she just... Have you ever thought about doing that professionally? No. You should. You'd be yeah. really good at it. But and then we could go into business. I together. have to be in the photo with them though. <laughs> Just, <laughs> Happy wedding day, me. <laughs> Selfie. Let's do it right now. Okay. That lighting though. I don't even need a filter. <laughs> Yeah, oh what's up? Oh my gosh, up? thanks for being on my channel. You're this is the best day ever. Best day. Oh, oh, I don't. I thought I heard something. Okay, love you, bye. Bye, love you, bye. Also, we didn't rehearse these questions. She's asking them on the spot. On a fly. As we do. Okay. I know her. I know her inside and out. <laughs>